Hey guys, my name is Alf. I'm one of the peak conditioning coaches and personal trainers here at GHF. And I'm here to show you how to use the torque tank M1 style. And we'll go into how to use sled push and sled pull. All right, so for the sled push and pull, we're working a lot of lower body movements today. We're gonna target the calves, quads, hamstrings, glutes, hips, and a little bit of our shoulders, but a lot of our core strength. And so to start off with the sled push, it's all gonna be about extending those arms and getting low with the tank. And so we're keeping our elbow straight you can either use a high grip or a low grip we're gonna make sure we step into the tank staying on our toes fully extending those knees going as hard and as fast as you can keeping that core tight the only big thing here is making sure your knees and hips shoulders stay aligned and you drive forward all right guys now for the sled pull we can use one of these handy attachments for our handles we can go ahead and clip it onto the front of the torque tank and the goal of this we're still targeting our lower body core we're gonna go ahead and extend our arms squat pretty low right above parallel staying on the balls of our toes we're going to go ahead and pull back keeping your core tight making sure you can fully extend those legs all right guys and if you want to make this harder or easier for yourself we have different styles of adjustment for the torque tank so this is a magnetic resistant vehicle so you have zones of very minimal resistance at n you can make it a little bit harder at one two and three and if you're strong and three is not enough for you you can add some weights add some plates to the top and you can do those pushing and pulling movements that we showed you all right guys that was a little bit about of our equipment in this new facility what we call the echo so feel free to visit our website at ghfc.com backslash echo for more information.